Okay, we gotta make an intro for YouTube. Here we go. Okay, last we left off, uh, we had this very, we're about to have this very emotional speech with uh, our assistant who's leaving us because her father is ill. So we're gonna be having this wonderful talk and then we'll be able to start the investigation. Uh, hopefully it won't be like too tragic of a talk. I just want her to be healthy and okay. But welcome back, you two. Always nice to see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we left the screen where it was. Because we stopped right in the middle of this. Naruhudo-san, it's been a very trying day, hasn't it? I do hope you're not too exhausted. What about you, Seisoto-san? Today is a, has been even more trying, and I'm sure. Trying for you, I'm sure. Mr. Sloans was shot before our eyes. Gina was arrested. Ugh. All in the back all the back of the news that her father has fallen ill and she must return to japan at once i hope your father recovers soon hi hi thank you for your kind words i'm sad that her father is sick and i don't want that to happen for her I wonder why it is that so many thoughts rage in my head like a storm. And yet I seem to be I seem unable to find the words to express any of them. Felt that. I know exactly what you mean. Anyway, I have one final task to complete as your judicial assistant. Once that is done, I shall make preparations for my departure tomorrow. One final task. Alright, let's do this one. Hi, Shiki! It's just two months since we arrived in London. Well, it's been two months already. But we've managed to establish this office, and it was feeling as though we were settling in. I'd be lying if I said I felt no regret. I'm so sorry, Seito-san. It's just so sudden. I really don't know what to think. I've had no time to gather my thoughts. I know we've only been here a short time, but... In my limited experience of the courtroom, I feel I've learned something. And what would that be? It seems to me that there are many facets to people's personalities. Facets? And like a jewel, the light play off of them in complex patterns, illuminating their actions and their motives. But we've only seen a small number of the total facets, and what is illuminated is only a part of the whole story. What lies in the shadows? What do the facets we cannot see look like? Perhaps there are some parts we'll never lay our eyes on as long as we live. That's so true. Sometimes I feel as though I'm blind to so much. But I keep hoping that one day it will all become clear. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. That all the facets will be eliminated and finally I'll understand how everything fits together. Naruhudo-san. I suppose what matters is that we keep our eyes open and keep moving forward even if that even if bleh, even if the way sometimes seems dark it's like the disney quote keep moving forward it's amazing to think that just that uh, it's been just two months it's amazing to think that feels like it's been two months with this game You've grown so much. This is a new expression. I don't think I've ever seen her use before. 
Sorry, I've what? Oh no, it's nothing. Unimportant. Do you know what time you'll leave in London tomorrow morning? Yes, I picked up my ticket earlier. I shall be leaving here at 4 a.m. I see. Well, I'll escort you to the station. Absolutely not. Sorry? I'm sure you realize why I couldn't possibly let you do that. Uh, no? You have a very important day ahead of you tomorrow. Gina's trial. Yes, I know, but every word you utter will have the potential to determine Gina's fate. You must get as much rest as possible. Even though, like me, I'm sure you'll find it hard to sleep. But please, for me, do try. Um, you mentioned one final task a moment ago. What did you mean? Oh my, I nearly forgot. Please, I want you to have this. What is that? Some huge bundle of documents? It's my notes from the case two months ago. The burner that was committed on the omnibus. Ooh, I thought it would be blue. The McGillic case. It seems to me that the case of Mr. Wendy Banks' murder, of which Gina is accused, is very much tied with, with the omnibus case in which that in ways that aren't yet completely apparent. So I took the liberty of consolidating my writings about the case for you. With everything else she had to think about? Sisoto-san still managed to do this, and all neatly laid out in her beautiful handwriting. She still did her job, despite her emotional uh, situation, which is very, very, like, like, good for her. Like, she was still able to do her work despite, you know, everything going on. Homegirl was like, this not gonna stop me from doing my job. It was my pleasure. I can only hope that will bolster your case tomorrow for Gina. Because at some point in Ace Attorney, you always have to face it alone. So I was wondering when she was going to eventually leave or die or something of that sort. Thank you so much, Heisota san. I will do my best to use it wisely. You really are the best judicial system assistant in the world. Well, that's extremely flattering. But I'm sorry to say that I've been a complete failure. Sorry? I, I didn't quite catch what you said there. Oh, ignore me. I'm just mumbling to myself. Girl! Well, it's getting rather late. It looks like it's already been late. I think you should go to bed now, naruhoto san I must finish packing my things in the morning in my room. Say soto san I I wish you the very best of luck tomorrow. Good night. Oh wow, the way she went and said goodbye was like, Wait, there's huh Okay. Homegirl just flipped us all because we tried to reach out. What was that? A secret technique of mine. The say sort of shut down. Shut down. Please, I implore you. If we have to voice our goodbyes. I won't be able to hold back my tears. Oh, wow. She's like, I can't stand it. I don't want to talk about me leaving you. So I'm going to flip you over instead because now I got to change the atmosphere. got to change the mood. Oh. That's sad. Say so, Josan. Oh. 
homegirl is leaving us. Don't turn your head upside down. I'm gonna be fine. Watch, I'm gonna be flipped back over soon. It's truly been a tiring day. Yes, it has. On our own feet for hours, getting Gina to open up to us and learning the truth that nemesis of the case. Physically and mentally, I was exhausted. I'm currently very exhausted. <laughs> and yet the idea of sleep seemed impossible. But I forced myself to close my eyes. You won't really have to do that with me here. As a catacomb of the scenes of my of our lives here in London played through my head. Eventually, my fatigue trunk triumphed and I fell into a deep sleep. I was like, are, are they going to keep doing it forever? Like... <laughs> 17th of April, the small hours... Well, the small... Yeah, the small hours. St. Seniors Hospital Ward 3. Yes, I quite understand. That is a great way off my mind. Oh my god, it's hotness. Oh, it's hotness on the screen. Hi, cutie. Rest assured, I shall put everything in place exactly as we have discussed. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. He's so God. Okay. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be acquainted with you, Mr. Slums. On the contrary, the pleasure has been mine. I bid you farewell and Godspeed. My dear madam, I knew they were talking, obviously. But what are they hiding? What is being done and I don't know about? Scandalous. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen now. When I woke the following morning, St. Soto's mom was already gone. Outside of the window, the rain came down in sheets. It so began an ever, an even longer day than the last, one that I remember for the rest of my days. Seventeenth of April, nine thirty, a nine thirty two a.m. The Old Bailey Defendant's Antechamber. Hi, Gina. Good morning, Gina. Girl, we're about to defend you on trial. Like, we're about to defend your innocence. You could at least, at least look a little bit more and be a little bit more grateful to me. Or I will drop this case like a habit and have them do whatever they want to you. Don't push me. I'm determined to prove your innocence today. I'm sure you can do it. So where's your friend then? Sorry? You know, uh, the, f the her in the fancy dress. Say, say Soro or however you say it? I don't know. Oh, Miss Say Soto had to leave early this morning. She's already gone by the time I woke up. You all right with that, are you? Forget about me if you like. Go off and see her. Go see her off. It's fine. It's not as though Mrs. Seto and I won't meet again one day. She's probably involved in another game. E even so, but you, Gina, you only get one chance. This trial today is all we have. Good morning, YouTube. Oh, 
she bought the kitty. How are we feeling, Ginny? Did you manage to sleep? Laying it high, so cute. What are you doing here? What do you mean? When a friend is in need, we show our support. Isn't that right, Waggy? Ah, oh, Waggy! Great way to show your support, kitty. Ah, oh, let him have a nose around. What harm can it do? Oh, that reminds me. I brought a paper on the way here. Now, would you like the good news or the bad news? What do you say, Runa? Oh, well, I think I'd rather get the bad news out of the way first. Nah, I always get the good news first. You might not live to hear the bad. Yes, the question always gives people, gives away people personalities. Let's not go there. <laughs> All right then, I'll give you the bad news first. A record amount of rain has fallen this morning and carriages all over the capital are struggling to move. Huh? The bad news was a weather report? So I hope that Susie made her train to Dover and that the train isn't delayed on its way to the port. Gosh, yes. Oh wow, imagine the rain being so hard that they're like the horses are just like upset and can't move. Alright then, so what's the good news? Well, the rain is forecast to subside this afternoon. So even if it rain is delayed, it should be able to make up for the time later. Well, that is good news, isn't it? I couldn't give a monkeys really. Only all good news canceled out the bad. And look, the trial has made the headlines too. Pawnbroker perishes in... Oh lord, it's, it's alliteration. Okay, hold on. I gotta make my mouth ready for this. Pawnbroker perishes in pig purse plunder. See? <laughs> How do you like that? You let them say what they want. See if I care. I can't because you're covering your face. Don't worry, Runa will show everyone that this headline is nonsense. I will. And then tomorrow's papers, the headlines will be... Oh lord, it's like the rhyming dude. Okay. Discharge, discharge diver is dauntless do-gooding. Isn't that right, Runa? Oh, um, yes. Let's hope so. Of course they will. I have absolute faith in you. How was that? I was trying to sound like Susie. Did it work? Did it? It's like she was still here. Then, Runo. I'll do what I can. Hmm? Obviously, I don't know the law like Susie does, but still. I'll be by your side the whole time, giving you moral support and encouragement. I'm not sure that big thing is as comforting as you think it is, to be honest, but thank you, Iris. That's very kind of you. Oh yeah, Iris. Yes, Skinny? Well, I was wondering, is all about Sherlock Holmes? Did they fix him up all right? Yes, the operation was a great success, but Hurley still hasn't come around yet. Hurley is fine. I mean more than just attractive. Hurley is more than okay. Hurley is out there conducting secret plots and other secret devices and things. Hurley is fine, fine. Ask a friend of mine at Scotland Yard. Hmm. 
Sorry, that was a yawn again. <laughs> Ask my friend at Scartling Yard, the guy who like simps over you basically. Let's send a telegram as soon as he wakes up. I'm sure Gregson will let us know the moment there's news. Oh, right. No say no son, no slums. We have nobody here. It's down to me today. It proves that Gina is innocent of this crime. I mean, he's being, like, instructed by me. Like, which will be relatively easy. Miss Gina Lestrade, counsel for the defense. The trial's about to begin. Are you guys ready? So last trial. Please make your way into the courtroom. It's time then. Yes, let's go. Gina and Iris. Lead the way, Runo. Last case time. Poor Gina. She's trying to put on a brave face, but I could tell she's worried and scared. I have to believe in her from the start to finish. That's the weapon that will secure our victory here. We're going to be going up against some tough components today. If I learn anything from my great friend, it's that. Ooh, got some tough components ahead, but we got this. It's 10 a.m. <clears throat> in the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare the courtroom to be in session. The trial shall determine the guilt or innocence of Miss Gina Lestrade. I now call upon the counsels for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. Lord Von Zaddy is present. The defense is ready. Lord Von Zaddy, my lord. Remind me, how many years ago was it that you withdrew from your prosecution, well, prosecution service? It was some five years ago, my lord. Yes, and then two months ago you got resurrected somewhat unexpectedly and here you are again today yes i call um for those who are like unaware uh and kind of new to the series very late to the series i call lord von zeke's lord von zaddy because i think he despite him being my enemy in courtroom i think he's attractive and i have a thing for you know guys who look brooding and vampirish Are there some circumstances in which the court should be aware that have led to this erratic behavior? Why are you with- what's with you in duct tape? And hi, obviously. In what might describe your- as your formal life five years past, you dealt exclusively in matters concerned with the highest Echoings of society and the government. Yet today, you choose to try a simple case of burglary and murder. <sighs> I confess I find it more than a little befunding, counsel. Okay, so he's like basically getting on his. Okay, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. He's getting on his ass because Lord Von Zaddy is like basically choosing to do this petty little like uh crime. And well, he's trying to like trial this petty little crime, and he's just like, oh, why are you involved in this shit? You shouldn't be involved in this shit. Like in your career, you know, you were on the top of the top. You was being with the big dogs and whatnot. So why the fuck are you trying to help? Try to involve this way? Um, because maybe he sees it the way we do, in which we realize there's gotta be a bigger picture here. Because this is the same woman who lied for uh, Mc whatever his name was. And now she's on trial for stealing something that's slim, that was similarly related to the, like, the whole way she got here seems very, very, very strange. Does it not? Ugh. 
And it's like, obviously, he's looking at this situation like, this makes sense. This is connected to the old case. So clearly, we have something involving here. Ugh. There are two sets of persons I cannot stand. Abide. Firstly, those wealthy scoundrels who hide behind a mask of philanthropy to cheat at public, to cheat the public at large, every other rich person. He means Mr. McGilda, who you defended against the Reaper two months ago. Yes, I was about to manage that workout. Thank you, Magnus McGilda. If he had known, if I had known what a monster he was, I would have never defended him. I mean, we only did it because we were broke. And secondly, even more loathsome, those well, those really scoundrels who masquerade as allies only to affect total betrayal in the final ally. It's kind of foreshadowing, isn't that? In other words, the confidence tricksters from those tiny islands in the far east of Nepanese. Hey, that's racism! What? Did he really just say that? I don't know. He basically just like, I don't trust those people who are rich, and I don't trust the Japanese either. He means you now, Rena. I actually managed to work that out too. But thank you, girl. Total betrayal. What are you talking about? Oh, now you want to be quiet. Now you don't want to answer the. Now you don't want to answer my question. <laughs> Speak your truth. What are you talking about? Clearly, there's a problem here. Is there a problem? Do we have a problem? As an alarmingly, an alarmingly scathing explanation, Lord Von Daddy. No, 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 no. You're not about to sit here and let him be racist in the courtroom simply because it's completely fine. No, 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 no. He literally was like, "Oh, we just don't trust these people." Okay, but now we're gonna let that happen because we we have a trial about a petty burglary that's clearly not her involvement because she hasn't killed anyone before. So why would she just suddenly kill the pawnbroker over some stupid music disc? I they still did it just the judiciary welcomes the return of the so-called Reaper of the Bailey. Feared by all of London's male factors. We literally s Every case that I've been here during London, he has been working. How are you all just like, you know what? I feel like I haven't seen him before. Your lordship is too kind. Now, jurors, the six of you have been selected at random to represent the, represent the will of the people in this trial. Who we got this time? Oh, I recognize a few of these faces. Cool. Are you ready to hear the evidence placed before you and determine the guilt or the innocence of the defendant? Oh, you seem familiar. Former lieutenant in the British Army here. Don't know you, chap. Don't you know? Chaps like me were born ready. Clean cockery, clean cutlery, and clean contents. His lordship's motto is very appropriate here, I think. Everything will be ster stereoscopic in the future. Absolutely everything. I everything. And I'm ready for it. I don't understand it. I can't have left it in there. It's not possible. But could I have? Women's indispensable in society, stop. Female centric future, wait, stop. Good day, I am visiting London for sightseeing. I would like to take bus to Crystal Tower, please. One is like lost because he is clearly like, hey yo, I'm trying to take the bus here. Ugh. Is something wrong, Runo? Oh, not exactly. It's just... 
I'm pretty sure I recognize these jurors. Almost all of them, in fact. Really? Funny conscience like that do happen from time to time, don't they? It is quite strange. The jurors are chosen at random from London's six million inhabitants. Yet the only ones we see are the ones that happen to be to run our cases. Who fucking knew? So I've been led to believe, but something tells me I'm being duped. Very well. Lord Von Zetti? The court calls upon the prosecution to introduce the facts of this case. As you wish, my lord. Allow me to begin with the word of warning for the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. In short, there has never been a more self-evident case of cold-blooded murder. I beg to motherfucking differ. The evidence, Mr. Pop Wendy Bank, proprietor, proprietor of the pawn shop on Baker Street, was shot from behind and dead instantly. The prosecution presents the photographic print of the crime scene. As the court will observe, there is a single bullet wound just below the, gun the gentleman's left shoulder. The evidence suggests that the bullet pierced the man's heart, resting in near instant death. Moving on to the findings of Scotland Yard's corridor. His report states that the bullets entered the body on a rising digital trajectory. Hmm, and what's that supposed to tell us? It means the victim was likely shot by somebody significantly shorter in height than himself. Someone like the accused, you might say. The prosecution wishes to present the autopsy report and the crime scene photograph as evidence, my lord. Indeed, the court accepts. Hand them over to the bailiff, please. I now ask the court to turn its attention to the plan of the establishment where the incident occurred. The perpetrator was found in the storage room where he kept articles of clothing pot to him. A, a windowless room with a single point of entry, a door to be a door to, to the main shop that was found locked. In this sealed chamber, there were only two people present. The victim is Wendy Bake and the accused. It may further interest the court to know that when the accused was discovered in, at the scene, sorry, it was really weird. She held the gun in her hand, used to fire the fatal bullet. Well, that's that then, isn't it? Nothing more to say. Y'all are so, that's not even all the facts of the case yet. Imagine. We can't jump to conclusions here. You mustn't assume her guilt because of what she has to do to survive. My learned Navanese friend, it is you who mustn't jump to conclusions. The prosecution had barely begun presenting its case. Oh, you got more? Coincidentally, the appealing act of murder did not go unobserved. There were witnesses. Good gracious. After their testimony, the girl's true nature would be prosecuted. Pitiful pit part, pit, uh, pitiful pick parts or cold hearted killer. Here's to the establishing the truth. Hmm. 
The court will take the floor plan and the firearm into evidence. Hand them over to the bailiff, please, Lord Von Zeeks. At once, my lord. Okay, so we're getting all of the weirdness stuff out of the way. We're getting all the... In a way, we're basically laying down bricks to the foundation of what this case is going to be, which is what they always do. <sighs> I need to know what I'm dealing with before I start, which in this case, I'm dealing with the hunk of below of nonsense. Ugh. It's great. Also, uh, I just noticed what you just posted, Chihi, and Jesus Christ, please behave. Like, oh my god. This isn't good. I feel the mood in here has turned very gloomy all of a sudden, Runo. Like, no shit show, it has, girl. Let us begin. Bring forth the witnesses to the foul murder of Mr. Pop Wendy Bank on the 16th of April this year. All right, let's see who they got this time. I, dare, I hope they're not like a married couple. Now, it could be me. Could be me, right? Witnesses state your names and occupations to the court. Could be me, right? And this could be me just, uh, you know, prejudging people and uh, just jumping the gun. But we saw two figures leave the shop. Uh, that look of exact heights of these two people. Um, and they clearly have skull and crossbone, crossbones on their collars. And they look like they're wearing face masks, which was very typical of people who do confessional speak. Um, professional, you know, bad things. And they also look like two brothers whom which I will not name because of copyright. But, um... Are we not sure that these people did it? I'm pretty sure these are the people we actually need to be looking for. Just... Just throwing it out there. Anyway, name's Nash Silken. Silken. Hello, Midnight. Hello, midnight. Sorry. Occupation is a baddie. Professional, but he can't even say professional. That's where the problem is. Name's Ringo Sulkin. Um, same as him. And it's Tobias Gregson, Scotland Yard Inspector. That's right. We got that call. Like, what? What is this? These are clearly the people we really need to be resting for. Because these are the people who clearly did it. I'm tired. What are you looking at me for? Like, don't let me in with your lot. Core blimey, that's cold. Didn't you know what we were getting this for? It's our older brother. Let's lost cap contact with him. And we're scouring every shady corner of the capital. And then last night we come across you, the very split spit of the bloke. Ain't that right, Ringo? Eh. He is nasty, he is, the very spit of him. So we decided that we 
what uh, it's really hard to read when they like a preview these words so we decided there and then what we were what was gonna do we was gonna call you big brother sulky come on leave it out you two sulky sulkin and then there's before he ran out of chips Mm, okay. Physically tired. Like, extremely. We didn't even start the case, and I'm already like... No. <laughs> what is happening? Why do they have skulls? Why do they think Greg's is a part of it? Is Greg's in the part of it? Does he not know what's going on? Why? Why? All right. Beg your pardon, my lord, but the name's Tobias. What I would like to know, Inspector, is what are you doing in the witness stand? The Sulkin brothers are under the are, un, are currently under arrest, my lord, on suspicion of theft. Hmm? These are they? These three? No, my lord. Begging your pardon, but please don't let me win with these lot. Oh, one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, all better. Two nights ago, these brothers illegally entered an establishment with an intent to burglarize. You don't say. And then in the course of their nefarious activities, they began, they became embroiled in a far more sinister crime. <gasps> By Jove, you mean to say, with an extraordinary coincidence. Indeed, my lord. While attempting to burglarize the pawn brokery, they witnessed its proprietor murdered. I'm not saying, right, that they probably didn't see what happened. I'm saying they probably saw what happened because they caused it. And the fact that you think that this girl who wasn't accused of, you know, killing somebody before just, just decided one day to just take a gun randomly and kill someone over some merchandise is the stupidest thing and the stupidest conclusion you could come up with. What the actual fuck? One standing on a box. That's hilarious. Order, order. The various trespasses of these brothers is not the subject of today's proceedings. Oh, is it not? I feel like it should be included, but it should be important. Though the natural, though they will naturally face trial in the very near future. With your lordship permission, I'd like to remain in the stand to keep these gents on their straight and narrow. Of course, Inspector. Spectacle as I am about the collabor collabora of these witnesses, I will permit them to take the stand. I mean, they're criminals who were trying to rob the place. Of course they're gonna go, hey, don't look at me. It was them, he did it. Or rather, in case she did it. Mr. and Mrs. Sulkin, you will now testify before the court. Describe the events of the night in question and what exactly you saw. Apply it to. I didn't mean happy to. Because the Sulkins never sulkin. Get out of it. Okay, time to pay attention. We was walking down Baker Street in the small hours of the gaff door was ajar, you see? It was like some kind of beg some kind of sign. Begging for us to go in, it was. But of course we got inside and core blimey lummy, we heard a gunshot from the back room. We went to see what it was. What was what, but the door was locked from the inside. Never 
we never done trifling, Governor. We never done. We never took nothing. We just left it after that, nice and quiet. Okay, there's several plot holes here, and I intend to pick them out. Uh, mm. Hmm. I definitely intend to pick them. I'm ten. I tend to pick them out and see how much of a lie these two actually are. A terrible coincidence, it would seem. At the precise moment these miscreants entered the property, an even more sinister crime was afoot. The witness to the testimony is consistent with the crime scene in every detail. Is it now? The door providing access to the storeroom from the main shop was indeed locked from the inside, and within, only the victim and the accused were found. Hmm. I must say, it does appear to be an overwhelmingly simple case. Still, the defense must cross-examine the witnesses now, and of course, counsel if you please. Okay. So we're going to cross-examine these mofos because clearly I know someone isn't telling the entire truth or they're withholding information. And a uh, duh, I'm going to figure that out because a uh, duh, that's so what I do. But they're also really stupid, so. Counsel? Uh, um, yes. What's the matter, Uno? Sorry, I... I was just stunned to sign this for a moment by the blatant lies we told by the pair in the sand. Wait, obviously like, they're telling lies. <laughs> I know that it's all nonsense, but I will say it because I saw it with my own eyes. And I just have to expose their testimony for the pack of lies that it is. I mean, that's not going to be really that hard. Well, <sighs> all right, so let's find out what we need to ask questions about and what we need to Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go through it. Okay, that's not the one I want. Hmm. Not the one I want either. Don't care about that one. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Nope. Ah, here we go. when I want you didn't do or take anything is that your story well it's a bad limb soon weren't they it was Nash it was didn't even have time to pull me dukes out of me lucky lockers so with no time to take your own hands out of your pocket you just left nice and quietly you say that's right, Governor. Never we have hate more than violence. Peace loving nibblers, we are not blurderers. If there's commotion going on, why wouldn't you steal something during the commotion? We are, Nash, we are. Never even pulled me to out of lucky lockers. I said this already. So you didn't so you clearly let like us to believe. Come again? As you fled from the pawn brokeries that night. Did you not run into someone else? Anyone else? Oh, look at him being nervous. And did you not fire at the gun at that person? Saints alive, they fired a gun, you say? Blind me, Governor. You ain't telling us that it was you in the doorway. It was. Why the bloody Nora? 
Didn't you mention that before? You were armed with a gun. <laughs> As you fled the scene, you fired that gun. At London's greatest detective, Herlock Slums. Ooh, intensity. <sighs> it's a really brave intensity. And that's so good. I love when we get this music. I did hear that actually. There's room where you shot. On the night in question, this pair were arrested by the police within minutes of the discovery of the crime scene. Their suspicion can countenance rapidly give them away. And when searched, a firearm was indeed found in their position. So so why are we here? If you found a gun on them, you know that they hurt someone. You're aware they got a... All right. All right. I'm sorry I reset myself because I was just like astounded. But like, bro. Are you even good at your job? Do you even know Vonzetti? Are you, are you listening? Are you listening? You do not know how to do your job, sir. These two are very much innocent, but you over there are deciding that they're not. <laughs> Furthermore, the barrel shows signs of shot being fired. No. Say it's not so. It's, it's like a, what? You mean there's a gun here? And it shot a bullet. <gasps> Color me shots. Asshole. The prosecution invites his lordship to examine the firearm recovered from these brothers. Hmm. And we will. Most definitely. Do that. In my next video because... I, unfortunately, have to wrap up very, very soon because I actually have to do something that's extremely important and I definitely need to go do that right now. So for my YouTube videos, uh, goodbye. I will see you guys next week. I hope you all are having a good night. And unfortunately for the rest of my stream, I really, really gotta go. Um, I didn't realize I need to do this right now, but I have to do this right now. So I'll talk to you guys uh, in a hot bit. Bye, guys.